in New Labor Forum argued, Sanders' social democratic vision and analysis was in key respects off base. It cost him black and Latino support that may, might have enabled him to defeat Clinton and perhaps Trump as well. It's worth taking a look at this. Um, I think this is um, wrong. Um, for, let's take minimum wage. Um, raising the minimum wage um, is a, a deeply multiracial issue, both in, in organizing practice and in its effects and in public opinion. Um, the um, raising the minimum wage has a, um, a positive effect from the millions of workers at the low end of the labor market who are disproportionately workers of color. Um, not surprisingly, given how much they benefit, according to the Pew Center, large majorities of blacks and Hispanics support a $15 minimum wage and actually only a slight majority of whites. Labor isn't going to survive without communities of color strongly supporting labor. But I don't think labor has processed this reality hardly anywhere. The tradition of the white left has been to treat black people as an afterthought or as a junior partner, whether in labor or politics. Bernie Sam Sanders, in my opinion, made this mistake. And I voted for Bernie. Um, Jerry Hudson and I wrote a long memo to him, suggestions of things he should do he didn't do. He said free college tuition helps everybody, but in fact, this is more important to young white people because a majority of them are in college and the cost of loans is their issue. A majority of black kids are not in college because they can't get in the door. A lot of them are in jail or never got out of high school. That's their issue. Sanders talked a lot about raising the minimum wage. He didn't talk so much about permanent unemployment. Yet decades long, permanent unemployment is the number one issue in black communities. These discouraged workers are not even counted in unemployment statistics. Sanders could have done the reverse. He could have started talking about black workers on the bottom for the last 400 years and then worked his way up to free college tuition and raising the minimum wage. He could have signaled the importance to him to address the continuing racial segmentation of our society. He could have made it clear that for him, black people are not an afterthought. Okay. Like everyone else, black people are looking for an inspiring vision. I find young progressive people of color have dreams and aspirations that go far beyond making $15 an hour, as important as that is. They want to be recognized and treated differently in society. They want their own voice to be heard. If the labor movement can't respond to this yearning, then many of us in the people of color left will have no choice but to start building a new and different kind of freedom movement.